listening to a bit of Josh Groban as I was doing the doing the soaring. a bit surprised I have mopped it up the um, the side walls have got a bit of condensation because I run the engine this morning because I put my washing machine on needed doing and uh, so yeah I was surprised that the old um, engine bay um, side walls were had condensation on well I'm not surprised but I didn't realize that that may be the case so I just wiped that out Everything seems to be okay other than that. Mm, it's always good. True to form. I've got my camera waiting, waiting. I've seen what I believe is a red squirrel. I don't think it's red, I think it's brown. However, it's not grey. Don't find many non-grey squirrels this far south. I think there's some red squirrels up in in uh, Scotland somewhere but I've seen a brown squirrel and I don't want to miss it. And I don't want to point my camera over at the flats because well you could be mistaken for being a bit dodgy. Anyway the sun's I'm changing my settings of the camera minutely. Is there such a thing as minutely? I don't think there is. Often. I'm changing the settings often so as soon as it comes I can snap away. Snap. True to form, I'll probably miss it. However, I'm waiting. I'll get it, I will, I'll get it. Just saying Kingfisher. It's like, oh, missed. Typical, typical. However, that's my third ever Kingfisher. The Kingfisher has a high-pitched, tweety, jerpy thing. Oh, there's that squirrel over there, look. Got the wrong lens on. I told you, typical. But it had come down this way. Got me beady eye on it. Still lumps in it. I come in last, I waited out here, hour and, hour and 20 minutes perhaps. Laughing at me he is, laughing at me. I bet as soon as I went in, he ran by. Guarantee it. Anyway, I went to get my jab this morning flu jab. Walk-in service, I said. No appointment only. Because I was taking it dark last night, should have put it on auto. Anyway, pass the lock up there. Some fella and his big white bean, loads of tomatoes on the top. 
loads of tomatoes. And I said to him, oh, you've got loads of tomatoes up there, mate. He goes, yeah. He says, I grow all sorts of tomatoes. I said, oh, well, okay. I thought tomatoes are tomato. He goes, no, no. There's white tomatoes, yellow tomatoes, orange tomatoes, black tomatoes, plum tomatoes. Well, I've heard of plum tomatoes. Black tomatoes? He goes, yeah, apparently they're very sweet. What do you mean, apparently? I said to him. You know, I don't really like tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make it up, can you? You just can't make it up. He's also got plum trees, apple trees, pear tree. I says, a partridge? He goes, no, I haven't got a partridge. He didn't get it. Or maybe he just, he just couldn't be bothered with my crap sense of humour. I thought it was quite quick at the time. Anyway, um, uh, all sorts of trees. Oh, I'll show you the boat when it comes by. I'm a bit annoyed with the, with the squirrely thing. Wrong eye so I was on about 1,200 because it was dark. And then, uh, you know, blown out. Typical. Anyway, I'll try and catch him on the way back. Tales from the water side. Towpath, canals. Don't class myself as a photographer at the moment, though. <laughs> ah. The little red squirrel passes here. I've just missed it. Red squirrel? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's a rarity. Oh, no. I didn't think they were this far north. I thought they'd come from Scotland. Well, uh, when it's not in Scotland, they're mostly in the Isle of Wight. Oh, right. There's a birdie on every one of these posts until I came to film it. Typical, isn't it, eh? No, look, this one. No, no, didn't want that one. I'm in Hemel Hempstead. Now I did a review of Uxbridge not so long ago. It's uh, one of my, my back catalogue. Um, but Hemel Hempstead, completely different. Uh, and I'm now in Old Town, Hemel, and it's very picturesque, very Vic Georgian, Georgian buildings and, and stuff. Lovely shops. And I reckon it's a, it was a vibrant, kicking town 20 years ago the old style pubs and the old style boutique type shops I think are lovely and uh, so this is Hemel I'm going to take you through old Hemel and new Hemel and discuss stuff along the way as as I discuss there we go look at those Georgian buildings and those gaps in the middle probably probably from window tax I read a book something Bill, Bill Bryson read a book I wrote a book on that uh, on stuff I can't remember but anyway, he said that uh, houses or shops with windows missing, down to window tax. He's probably right too. I bet that's a specially made door. Very small, very pokey. Makes me think how small people were in the day. Quite like the old town. I mean, there's um, saffron, don't know what that does, but look at this. This is a 16th century old pub and it's still knocking about the old King's Arms. But well, that's a great little boozer. I like that antiques vintage shop. It was open. Uh, but I spoke to Neil in the old town golf shop. Nice fella. That looks like Arkwright's open all hours shop.
sweet is. Mm. So that was the old town. Very nice. There's a shop called Flags. They don't sell any flags, they just sell houses. I came through here last night and um, about tea time, dinner time, early evening, five o'clock-ish. To be honest, woohoo, thanks mate. And to be honest, the smells of the food was lovely. All the different cuisines from Indian to Indian and pizza. Indian. Lovely though. The Full House is a Weatherspoons pub that used to be clearly a cinema. I think they've done a very good job, looks very good. And here's our version of the White House. Looks like a bit of a feedery place on that side and a nail place on this side. And Greg's in the corner. I must admit, I'm getting quite hungry smelling the Greg's thing. Debenhams. What a great shame that place has closed down. I'm not sure we've even got a departmental store or department store, however you want to call it. Shame. These are strange cows. Well, they're not strange because they're cows. And I can tell they're cows. But they're stripy cows. And one of them's had a pop at me. That one there. Brown cow. And I want to get through that gate and they're stopping me. <laughs> they're funny old. Anyway, they're lovely got a gorgeous looking face and they're um, fluffy so with fluffy stripy cows and there's a lovely little calf there I assume with mum and dad yes I wonder if he's gonna let me through the gate what do you reckon you gonna let me through are you you gonna let me through it's only been in the last 50 years that the Trust's own animals have been seen on the moors. In the 1970s, to combat falling numbers of graziers. Hey, I'll give you a, I'll give your head a scratch. The Trust introduced the belted Galloway cattle. Stripy cow. Is that yes or no? Aren't you a delightful moo cow? These cattle are a hardy, slow maturing breed from the Scottish borders that suit the poor grazing available on the estate. Can I get through now? You finished? Right, oi. Oof. A bit too big for me, really. All right, I'll go round, don't worry, you win. Can I get through? <laughs> Go on. Go on, shoot, 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 shoot. Thank you. Thank you. I know that some of you have asked, how do I choose my music? Well, one of the ways that I choose my music is when I'm sitting down on the computer answering comments. I'm listening to epidemic sounds in the background and some of it's good, some. A lot of it is not to my taste, but it takes 
an awful long time and that's what I call concurrent activity and uh, you know if there's something I like uh, then I, I push favorites or, or you know save it or whatever it is so and then download it for later on so that's um that's how I choose my music Martin's had a chat on the comments and asked me about bungs what's a bung he said well a bung according to the Collings English dictionary with um, a thesaurus pretty big book to be fair a bung is a stopper cork of rubber for a casket etc short for bung hole um so that's pretty much what what it is it's it's one of these a bung hole that i put made of foam with some cloth on the outside um to put in the bung hole well, pretty much that's it and what, what basically what it does it stops light coming in so I put them in the bedroom at night time and I sleep better at night because of it because the room's darker um, it stops people from nosing in from the towpath and it keeps the warmth in and the cold out there's another thing anyway that's what bungs are Martin I hope that, that answers your question and that was Hemel Hempstead and I enjoyed my stay at Hemel Hempstead actually it's um, something I want to go back to I think it's a nice place next week I'm moving on to Burkhampstead Burkhampstead's pretty much like it's a Marlow or a Henley on Thames uh, it's got those boutique type of shops it's uh, a, a, an expensive postcode um, so a bit of a bit of um, Burkhampstead next week, and um, but I've renamed it because of all the pubs on the canal side and everything like that. You got Henley on Thames. This is Berkey on the Grand. because oh, I think it's quite a nice place anyway. Somewhere there, there we go. Um, consider subscribing if you haven't, and if you have subscribed, thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking, thanks for watching. I've said it in the wrong order, never mind. Until next week, ciao Papa! Ciao.